Hi, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create or import a project in IntelliJ. So let's get started. Okay, so the first uh, time you run IntelliJ and you don't have um, you know any previously open project so this is what you get and basically we have here four options the first option is to create a brand new project and as you can see uh, the IDE is complaining that it doesn't know about JDK so uh, one thing I need to mention is that to install IntelliJ you don't necessarily need you don't need a Java um, runtime installed in your system but obviously to build uh, you know applications you'll definitely need Java so I've got Java installed here so for now let's just select the Java JDK 8 let's go and um, so what I want to do here actually is I just want to create a Gradle project now let's go craft of programming and another world project uh, select this option auto import if you want IntelliJ to um, automatically import any changes that happen on the uh, Gradle um, uh, settings project and Gradle wrapper is recommended so keep that option and um, select where you want to create your Java projects I don't want them there so I'm just going to select C temp and let's select Java projects. Okay, so uh, let's make sure that it's created here. Okay, IntelliJ is going to create it. Okay, so if everything goes okay, you should see a Gradle build here. A Gradle window with the uh, default Gradle tasks. Okay, so the second option is to import um, an existing project and IntelliJ supports importing Eclipse projects, Maven projects or Gradle projects. In this particular example just let's import an existing Maven project into an IntelliJ project. Uh, so I know Chronicle Q is a Maven project so that's selected. Maven automatically defaults to uh, IntelliJ automatic defaults to Maven and let's leave this um, um, direct like that select uh, Mav import Maven project automatically so that you can IntelliJ automatically syncs changes made to the Maven project uh, inside IntelliJ and um, and this is the, the existing artifact that it's included in the project and let's keep uh, the JDK 1.8 as an option. So here we have the option to create the IntelliJ project in a different folder. Uh, for this particular example, let's just leave it like that. So if everything goes well, we should be able to uh, uh, compile, run a Maven task. And as you can see, the project has been correctly imported. <coughs> the other option is open. Open is basically open an existing uh, IntelliJ project, um, or just selected from the from an existing project here on the which is the recent projects that were open. Okay, so one final option um, to import a project into IntelliJ is to check out directly from uh, version control from a hosting platform like GitHub or Bitbucket and when you select that option um, IntelliJ gives you um, you know you have to authenticate to GitHub this is a bit strange that there is no option to check out from say Bitbucket because I do have the um, uh, plugin enabled Bitbucket linky plugin uh, so but for some reason I don't have that option so anyway let's um, clone a Bitbucket project so the first thing you need to do is to um, 
authenticate so let's go to github and let's get a project I guess cradle template any project will do so let's get the um, let's get the uh, repo URL and this is my account so let's authenticate okay now to authenticate we just paste the repo here we can test to make sure that we have the correct URL and let's clone the project So again, let's uh, keep the use auto import option selected so that we can IntelliJ automatically syncs um, the um, the ID with the um, with the Gradle project, and let's use the Gradle wrapper, which is the recommendation. And let's open the project in IntelliJ. And as you can see, the project has been correctly updated, uh, imported. So this concludes our video on how to create and import a project into IntelliJ IDEA. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified about uh, new content. And also, uh, give it a thumbs up, please. This is Newton from craftofprogramming.com. And also, don't forget to leave a comment below uh, on how to improve these videos going forward. Thanks for watching. Take care.